Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about a new keyword research tool that I discovered called Keyword Atlas. You can find it at kwatlas.com. That link's directly under this video and you can pick it up for I think like $47. Uh, if you want commercial rights to it, it's $67. This isn't a product launch or nothing like that. It's a product that's been out there I guess for a little while. I just happened to run across it. Uh, it looked great, so I bought it, and it is absolutely amazing. It's by far going to be my new go-to tool for keyword research, regardless of what I'm doing keyword research for, because if I come up here to sources, you're going to see all the options I have where it's going to collect keywords from. There's actually 21 different sources where it will get keyword data from. And the way it collects keyword data is a little bit different than the way you may be used to. And it also has what they call a position score here, which is different than what most traditional keyword tools offer, which is based off of search volume. This one is not. It's more based upon how popular the keyword is right now. And this is actually how what the way search engines are using to show you keywords. So let me give you an example. Okay, so let's just say we're on Google and we're typing for security cameras. So I'm going to type in best security cameras for, and then what it's going to do is it's going to automatically fill in the rest of the keyword in the autocomplete based on the popularity of that keyword. So if someone's searching for best security cameras for, they're most likely going to be searching for home before they are for business and then apartments. And so they're showing you the importance of the keyword. And this is the same way in YouTube and all the other sources uh, that you saw under the uh, sources here. This is what they're doing is they're showing you the keywords based upon their popularity or interest. And so this tool actually gives you a score so you can see which ones have the most popularity are currently being most searched for because traditionally if you use like Google Ads and if you try to get their search volume data it's going to show you a monthly search volume but the problem with that is is that that monthly search volume may no longer be as popular as what it was last month or the month before and so there's no way to really know other than using the autocomplete uh, that they give you up to date what is most popular so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how this works and some of the features it has. Now, I'm not going to go over everything because it's got a lot of features, a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, but you can see here there's a welcome box you get when you download it and install it. You have suggest keywords, and these are the keywords that you see right here that are uh, suggested by Google and all these other sources. And then you also have related keywords. And the related keywords, let me just go ahead and search here and scroll at the bottom. And you'll see this list of keywords. These are the related keywords. So basically, it's collecting all the keywords they're giving you for autocomplete. And they're also giving you all the keywords that are related um, that are also similar. So this is an amazing tool to basically cover every area of getting keywords. Okay, so what I'm going to do is under suggest keywords, we're going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to just copy this part. And we're going to enter it here. And then I'm going to put an asterisk. And so what this is going to do is this is telling the software, uh, I want to search for this keyword and then show me everything after it in the autocomplete suggestions for all these sources that I'm selecting in this country, whatever country you want to choose, I'm going to use global and then how you want to search for them. So let me explain the search range. So if we're searching for best security cameras for what it's going to do is it's first going to type the letter A. And then it's going to copy these keywords and show us them. And then it's going to do B and then C. And it's going to take all these keywords and put it in the software. Now, that's if we choose A to Z. If we choose A, A to Z, Z, what it's going to do is it's going to take it a lot longer because it's going through the list uh, many more times. So what it's going to do is it's going to do A and then it's going to do A, A. And then A, B. A, C, A, D, all the way through the alphabet for each letter. So you're going to get tons and tons of keywords by selecting this option, but it's going to take a lot longer. And then they have zero through nine. And this is really good. I've used this strategy for years, finding models, model numbers for different products that I can promote, especially from like Amazon. So let's say, for example, I want to promote products from Samsung. I could do uh, Samsung 
and if you type the number one you're going to see all these keywords that maybe you haven't thought of okay like a one terabyte ssd or you can do two uh, 2.1 sound bar and so if you go through the numbers you're going to see all this and then you could also do like a samsung tv and then number one and then a number two and what it's going to do is it's going to eventually the longer you go on these keywords is it's going to start giving you model numbers so let's say we do uh, samsung tv 61 or 60 inch and then number one and then number two or number three and it just keeps going on and on and it shows you all these variations of keywords that you can get uh, based upon the autocomplete so for this we're going to do best security cameras four and uh, we're not going to do ideas yet I'll show you what that is here in a minute but I'm going to go ahead and just choose A to Z and we got Google Bing and Yahoo and click start so this is uh, you know if you do Etsy if you sell on Etsy this is great it's going to show you all those keywords people are searching for on Etsy same with Amazon same with eBay same with all these other places but it's going to do a lot more than that because you can find out even from Google and all these other sites now and have this massive collection of keywords um, and put them all together for whatever your project is and you're basically getting every single popular trending keyword right now from all these sources that you can use to promote your own products for services for just getting traffic to your site or whatever it is you're trying to use it for okay so it went through all these lists and we can see here these are all the keywords it's given us it's giving us a score here from Google, Bing, Yahoo, and then an overall position score. So what this is doing is this taking the average of Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Number one basically means that it's showing this keyword number one when people searches for best security cameras for and then price. Same with Bing. And then also with Yahoo, it's pretty close. So it's almost giving us a 100% score. Now we can adjust the score setting based on what we use the most. If Google is most important to us, then we can give them the highest priority. So what we can do is we can go up to settings and we can give Google a 10 and then say for Bing, it's not as important. Okay. I can give it a nine if I want to, or I can give it a lot lower score, like a five and a four and click done. And we can do that with all these sources that we use. And what it's going to do is it's going to change this score based upon the one search engine that affects us the most. And it's going to give us an overall score for that. And so not only are we finding out what keywords are currently the most popular that people are searching for, uh, but we're also getting a massive list of keywords that we probably didn't think of before. So for example, this keyword here, best security cameras for extreme cold. That's something I would not have thought of before. Uh, a great way to, if you do mass videos, mass websites, just take all these keywords and start building your posts and your videos with it. If you use Yive, uh, that product's going to be launching really soon. If you guys don't know about that, join my email list at vidsociety.com. You will not want to miss this product. It is an amazing way to just mass videos everywhere and uh, dominate for all different kinds of stuff. Uh, okay, but what we can do next is we can select these keywords so I can select any one of these keywords I want to I can right click and I can choose to do several things here I can get search volume data now this is pretty neat because if I click this this box pops up and what it does is it allows us to collect keyword data from uh, searchvolume.io or Google Keyword Planner. Now to use Google Keyword Planner, you do I believe have to have your own account now with a debit card and all that. It doesn't cost, it's free, but they just have to verify your account and all that. Uh, searchvolume.io is free, but as with any place where you get search volume data, they're just estimates, so don't rely 100% on them. How this works is that with searchvolume.io is that you can only do 800 keywords at a time. So I have less than that here, so it's only going to create one set. If I had more than 800 keywords, it would create multiple sets and upload them into sets so where it would do every one of the keywords we have regardless if it was 2,000, 5,000 or whatever. And then what we could do is just import that file back into here. So all I have to do is right here just make sure I got story base copied for searchvolume.io, click copy right here. And what it's going to do is automatically open the window up for me uh, where I need to paste in the keywords that I want to do. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to right click and copy the selected keywords. And then we're going to go back here and I'm going to click paste and then click submit. Okay, so it's going to go through this list, the ones I've got selected, and it's going to give me the search volume form. Now, once that's done, all I have to do is download it. 
and I'm going to just save it and then we're going to move this back over and then we're going to select this file we can drag it over here if we want to uh, I'm just going to go ahead in here and select it and we'll do this one and it automatically imports the search volume and you can click up here to sort it and do all that kind of stuff too okay so next we have filters I'm not going to go too much in detail about the filters this video is already long enough but if you click on the filters it allows you to choose different filters to set your own you can drag this box you can move it out of the way um, we can also let me just clear filters here we can go to monthly search volume there's all different kinds of options here and you can actually have multiple filters so if there's different things you want to filter for based on the monthly searches also based on the score uh, you can do that and have multiple filters there are full tutorials on this that shows you step by step how to do absolutely everything uh, so you don't have to worry about that now once you get these done you can also find the related search keywords okay so let me go ahead and we've, we've got a few keywords selected here we can right click and what we can do is we can send these selected keywords to the related tools so I can go ahead and click this and it's going to move it over here into this tab for related and we can choose what sources here we want to use I'm just going to choose Google for now click start and it's going to go collect all the related keywords for each one of these um, as it's going through and searching for them on Google so your, your your list of being able to collect keywords is endless with this tool if you have hundreds of keywords in here you're going to get hundreds more keywords on top of what you already have it's just it's absolutely crazy um, and then you, you can get your search volume here just like you did with the other ones if you want that information uh, if not you can export this data you can save it uh, you can select the files you want and do select we'll just do select checks for all rows and then right select and you can do check boxes you can select you can copy selected keywords uh, filters Google tools you can do Google Trends if we click Google Trends what that's going to do is it's going to open up uh, tabs for the keywords we have selected and you can see here with the keywords that uh, it's it's gave us already you can see how they're all trending they're all going up and that's because it finds those keywords that are popular and people are currently searching for which makes this tool so so powerful I mean look at this now this one oh that's because it's 2018 so we can we can get rid of that keyword uh, but look at this one it's just skyrocketed here and then this one here just gradually going up and these are the type of keywords you want to use when you are trying to build out your campaigns whether it's for your websites whether it's for your videos or whatever and the last thing I want to show you is the idea generator this is very very powerful so let me go ahead and clear out everything here and what we're going to do is click on ideas and what we're going to do is put a single a single word in here and then we can put the plural form of that in here so we can do let's just say security camera and then down here it would be security cameras and then you can do a year if you want to and even a region this, this can be any kind of a region it can be a city a state a country whatever and then what we want to do is we can come over here on the left hand side and we can see all these pre-made phrase ideas that we can add over here to search for so it's like how and then the asterisk is where it's going to fill it in with with the auto suggest so how blank security camera how to blank security camera uh, why do security cameras blank and then we go on down here and there's all different kinds of uh, keywords we can get based upon this so security camera um, for kids uh, security cameras under a hundred dollars security cameras uh, cheapest security camera best security camera for so what we can do and you can see how many of them there are here so let's just do I'll do a couple of these we'll add this one and some of them obviously don't make sense like for fashion that wouldn't make sense and so you'd go through here um, let's do we that one security camera K blank Amazon that'd be a good one coupon best security cameras top 10 so there's all different kinds of ones that we can select on here and then if we want to do questions if we're doing question videos we could even do this and then you're going to click OK and you're going to click start and it's going to start going through that list and it's going to give you tons and tons of ideas of keywords that you can use uh, based upon all of that information so that's what the idea generator does you can see it's already got 175 keywords 
and it's only on 13, 14. So it's got a ways to go. And, and it's just the keyword list you can build is endless using uh, Keyword Atlas. Uh, this is an amazing tool, guys. I highly, highly recommend that you pick this up uh, to start doing your keyword research with. You're going to see much better results with it when you're posting videos, when you're uploading uh, videos or uh, creating your website posts and pages because you're going to start getting a lot more traffic to it because these are keywords that people are searching for now. So this is Keyword Atlas. It's at kwatlas.com. Like I said, that link's under this video. You guys can go there and check it out, uh, but I do highly recommend that you pick this one up. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Also uh, like this video, and if you've got questions or comments, leave them below, and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.